Hello friends, my name is Masood. Today we shall discuss about topic the overriding concept in object oriented programming. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in programming and you want to learn about it. So let's start friend. First of all I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, overriding is a very basic uh, fundamental concept in the object oriented programming like uh, other concepts including polymorphism, inheritance and uh, other concepts. So overriding is basically allows a subclass, subclass means the child class to provide a specific implementation for a method that is already defined in its superclass. See friend. Overriding basically uh, belongs to the concept of inheritance. Inheritance means that a child class or uh, uh, like the subclass can be inherited from the base class or the superclass. So when uh, we inherited a subclass from the base class, all the methods and properties of the base class can be accessible by the ch child class. So that is called as the mainly the concept of a uh, override or uh, the inher inheritance. Basically, uh, when we uh, there is any method defined in the base class, it can be redefined in the uh, in the subclass or the child class. So basically, this allows the subclass to provide its own version of a method that is already present in its parent class. Method uh, overriding is a key feature that supports polymorphism and enables a more specialized behavior in subclass. Now. Let's deep dive into the concept of object oriented programming. First uh, is the inheritance. Method overriding is closely related or pertaining to inheritance. In object oriented programming, when a subclass inherits from a superclass or a base class, it inherits not only the attributes and methods of the class, superclass or base class, but also the ability to override those methods. Now, uh, we can discuss about in detail about the rules for method overriding friend uh, the method in the subclass must have the same signature signature means the uh, attribute types number of attributes uh, method name especially return type parameter types all those are the uh, called as the signature type so uh, it must have the same signature same signature means the signature which is present in the uh, in the base class the same signature should be available in the uh, in the child class as well if it's there is a difference so there will be a compiler error so the access level of the overriding method in the subclass cannot be more restrictive than the access level of the overridden method in the superclass or base class the overriding method in the subclass can have a broader exception handling scope as well than the overridden method in the base class let me give an example through the source code here this is a class animal here the method void make sound this is the method system dot out uh, system dot out dot printline some generic sound so this is the base class then class dogs extend animal so that means the dog is the child class or the uh, subclass which extended or the inherited from the animal class as it is extends animal it has a uh, overridden method which is void make sound system dot out dot printline bark so see friend uh, here uh, the make sound method present here as well and it is uh, mentioned here as well but uh, the uh, in the child class we have overridden the uh, redefine the scope of the make sound method okay so once you uh, create the object of the drive dog class and call the method make sound it will the compiler will uh, call this method make sound rather than calling this uh, make sound this is the concept of a mix uh, concept of overridden because the same method uh, with the same uh, signature signature means the return type the parameters etc uh, so all uh, with the same signature we define it here as well in the base class and in the child class as well but the scope uh, is basically redefined in the child class so that is why it is called as the concept of uh, overridden here now uh, the overridden at the rate overridden annotation in java the at the rate overridden annotation is used to indicate that a method in a subclass is intended to override a method in its superclass this annotation helps the compiler catch errors if the method signature doesn't match any method in the superclass Simply uh, we use the override at the rate override annotation in, in the Java for overridden method. 
Dynamic method dispatch. Method overriding is a form of dynamic polymorphism. The decision about which method to call is made at runtime based on the actual type of the object. This allows for flexibility in designing and extending classes without modifying the existing code here. Uh, use of super keyword. Inside the overriding method in subclass, the super keyword can be used to call the overridden method in the uh, super class. For example, take the same example. Uh, this is the child class dog which extend from the base class of animal so we void make sound we have a method then super dot make sound and if we call it as super dot make sound it will call the method of the base class here see from here make sound exists in the animal um, um, base class and it exists in the child class here if we called super dot make sound it will call the this method of make sound of the base class okay so this is the concept here uh, if we use the super keyword you can call the uh, base class method as well by using the super keyword so this is the concept here of the uh, super of the super concept uh, friend in the python method overriding is achieved uh, similarly, the method in the subclass has the same name and parameter as the method in the superclass. Take the same example here, friend, as well. Like we have a class animal, uh, we have a method make sound self print some generic sound. Okay, so this is the base class here. Then we have a class dog, which extends or you can inherit it from the animal class. Okay, this is the this is the base class this is the child or subclass as well then we define make sound self print bar so here we are basically defining or you can say redefining the uh, method of make sound here so uh, friend when you create an object of the dog class this method will be called as make sound okay so this is concept of uh, the overriding method here that make sound exists here in the base class as well and in the child class as well however in the child class with the same uh, signature uh, you can you can redefine the uh, method so that you can uh, you can adjust it accordingly as per your need and requirement as well so friend this is called as the concept of the uh, concept of the overriding in the uh, object oriented programming uh, friend method overriding allows for creation of more specialized behaviors in subclasses a promo subclasses means the child classes or the extended classes which extend from the base class promoting code reuse and making the code more flexible and extensible it is a fundamental concept in achieving polymorphism in object oriented programming as well so friend um, if you want to learn object oriented programming so you must have to understand the overriding concept because through which you can you code uh, you can reuse the code and your code become more flexible and extensible so friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video